All right, the only reason I'm legendary is because I'm old. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, maayong hapon, magandang hapon, good afternoon. My name is Dennis, otherwise known as Big Daddy Jake on Magic 89.9. Uh, I got saved here 2000. It's a very long story. Uh, like I said last Wednesday, it's almost like putting an ocean into a cup. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, to make a very long story short, I got saved. I mean, I got, I, I, I gave myself to Jesus Christ. I accepted him as my Lord and Savior right here at 2000, I think. I was sitting somewhere there. I, in fact, I was slouched. And the pastor, this was my first time, his name was Steve, uh, Steve Merle. And he said something that I, that hit me. I was crying. I gave myself to Jesus Christ. And it was great, you know? Um, I was on fire. I read my Bible every day. I was in small groups. I was leading my own small group. And uh, I was attending, well, services. I even was in a leadership class. And then, little by little, I said, Hindi mo na ako magbabasa ng Bible today, bukas na. Hindi mo na ako mag attend ng small group today, next week na. And so on and so forth. To make a long story short, I was on fire. I used to be on fire. It was like being plugged in. I was like, alam mo para kang uling, you're charcoal, you're, you're right smack in the middle of the, the bonfire, you're so on fire, you're ablaze, and then you take yourself out. Dahan-dahan ng lamig ako. From being, from embracing God, I ran away. Intentionally. It was a choice. Nobody pushed me. I mean, I could start blaming people, but that's not true. You know why? Because it was my choice. I stopped reading my Bible. I stopped going to church. I stopped uh, joining small group. It was so bad. Uh... Well, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was fornicating, all right? I was having sex out of wedlock. I got my, my, my girlfriend pregnant twice. That's not something I'm proud of, okay? I'm telling you this because you have to know it is wrong, and I know what I did was wrong. It was hell on earth. And not only that, okay? I got my girlfriend twice, I mean pregnant twice. I lived in with her. Galing. It was a very good decision. I'm being sarcastic, all right? It was living hell. I, we, we fought every day. And I was thinking, maybe pag nag-live in kami, hindi mawawala sa akin yung girlfriend ko at mga anak ko. Which was wrong. I was very close to, to, to losing the very people I hoped I was, I was gonna keep. And for three years, I did that. I tried everything to save my family, including earning more money. I had two jobs. I worked as a radio DJ in the, in the, during the day. And then I trained people to call center during the night. I was dying, literally. I am not hypertensive, I am diabetic because of that. You know what, it wasn't hard work. I said, you know what, what am I doing? This is wrong. And the best decision I ever made was running back to the Lord. 2006, I got married. I had to correct my, my, the, the mistakes I had. I said, for three years, I did not do anything. I said, going ko tama lahat na mali ko sa ako babalik. But you see, I was on my face. I was not just on my knees, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, I was on my face. Wala na ako matakbuhan. Eh, sino pa tatakbuhan ko? Di bumaligaw kay Lord, all right? But before I start crying here, <laughs> I am just glad. Let me tell you again, it's the best decision I've ever made, all right? Accepting Jesus as my, as my Lord and Savior again. And I'm telling you right now, I am not letting go. I am not going back to hell, all right? That is not some place I am not going to go back to. All right? Sure. Di pa ako tapos. Malapit na. Wrap up na lang, sir. <laughs> my life is not storm-free. That's true. I mean, it's, it, it never is. But I'm telling you, by God's grace, my life is storm-proof. God is good. Thank you.